Hi, my name is Tony Pulford, and I am 47 years old. I'll be 48 this year. My um birthday is December 11th. I was born in 1976. I'm a twin by us being um the same age for two weeks. Then on Christmas, she turns one year older than I, and um, I'm only my age for three weeks. Then at the beginning of the year, I am turning back an age older. So I'm never um, my age. Only I'm always saying I'm 47, 48, or, or um, I can say 47, but I have to say 48 here. Um, my mom's name is Mary. I mean, uh, yeah, Mary. And my dad's name is Joseph. And um, my sister was born. My sister was born on Christmas. So I'm very happy to be that holy relic. Um, she was in the paper. She was born in St. Louis. Um, God is my cousin because um, Toby Hibbler is my mom's cousin, and um, that's Emmanuel's father. Elizabeth is his mother, and Mary is her cousin, and that's Jesus Christ, and I'm Jesus' cousin. We're not related by blood, but that's my uh, cousin. And um, I'm in a very famous family. Drew Barrymore is my cousin. I mean her on ends because she's uh, brokenhearted because a guy picked me and not her. And I'm like, wow, I got a trophy. I took down and toppled that love check. <laughs> and we were toddlers. And I had a rough life because my little cousin didn't know anything about what was going on. She just wanted to be loved. And we couldn't love her because she had uh, stolen our house and which had made it where I lived outdoors. And, but I was never homeless because I'm a go-getter. So I always had um, my um, our feet settled in solid ground. And I had got well upon shaky ground when um, this man who had abducted me, son, um, married me. And um, now uh, I have a baby with him and she, he has her and my dad died. And I can't get him to give me um, my child back. And he's in my home right now, and he won't um, cooperate and say that he's um, an unclean person. He's a child molester, and he um, he um, stuck his fingers in my ear when I was a baby, and he has never stopped um, inserting his penis in me. I have been raped profusely by men, and all I want to do is be a Christian. I'm an Irish girl, and um, I can't have any um, um, relationships unless it's um, based on chastity and um, holy sacrament, so the Almighty God. And I'm Mexican, so I have to and really um, never date ever, and um, never wear anything salacious while I'm covered like this, and real baggy and look. Like I can't be dated, <laughs> and and I have to stay grungy and never um show a smile, <laughs> cause I better be ugly instead of attracting men. And that's the part of Mexican way. Then when you get around your family, you can go ahead and be beautiful, cause there's no men that are bothering you. And, and then your cousins um go and get the man that they want you to be with, because they know all things. And because your father makes sure they take care of the baby who's out there in the world being promiscuous and that's my little cousin Angel who's happy because we have she has a sister named Janique Dow who's um, going to be in Queen of the Night um, she um, is very spectacular and I love her so much and I'm very happy my little cousin Angel and Ashwin and Drew Barrymore can go and Michael Shoffley's wife our other cousin, the one on 16 Candles, and have a really nice time. And as for the boy who um, um, started a child with me, perhaps maybe he can go on into the world and know that all I want him to do is to go away from us and never come around because we're never supposed to know them. We were never supposed to know them in the first place. And it's, it's, it would be better if he just loved his father and his um, stepmother and let go of his uh, mother because his mother is a sham for doing this to him and to me, telling him to have sex with me and pretend like he's a doctor. How can you have a lifetime of saying or something when you know you didn't achieve that? And I achieved um, a lot of things 
in um, scholastics, but it wasn't scholastics, it was career, but it was based in scholastics. So if you ever want to make it in life, if you ever want to go and have a journey down a, a path of road, go ahead and get educated. And Stash Entertainment is what brought you this message from me to you. I'm Tony. I'm a police officer. I'm retired. I, um, I got my disability because I have poor memory. I know all the things that I'm supposed to know now because I got my memory back. It's still shaky. I got um, murdered and um, by my um, ex-husband. We're no longer married. I know it. And um, um, he hit me in my head and made me have to take narcotics. Um, and he be trying to sit up and um, smoke with me, and I told him, hey, look, check this out. I have a child with you. You can't even smoke cigarettes, no drink, no do drugs. I don't do that anyway. I'm Irish. And um, so now he um, have to step into reality about the girl who told him to go away. And now that I have um, voiced all that, I'd like to thank the St. Patrick Center for taking care of us out in, in this world, because without them, I wouldn't have been able to speak because my counselor, Tyler Perry, I mean, not Ty, I know Tyler Perry, but Tyler the Priest, he um, took, a, a, took a, a, a long walk to remember for me to go ahead and jump over the broom and be happy. It, it's a man I love with all my heart and with all my might, but I gotta let him grow up and um, be a, a, a listener, and that way I can shine more. And then he can shine, and my children can shine, because my daughter gotta go to jail, and I gotta um, house a family till they're safe. And um, I don't wanna keep the girl, because she's a, a meanie, and, but she'll be able to help my daughter. Her meanie is something meaningful, and that's not good. When you're meaningful, you better not be mean. And I'm scared for my daughter's um, ability to make it over the hump. She stole something from her mommy, and her daddy doesn't know it. And that's what caused her little sister to be born. And her little sister is um, away from me because I don't know where the man is. If I knew where he was, I, who I married, then I would be okay. Now, this is a funny thing. I learned that nobody's supposed to be married. Even though he and I are neck and neck at odds, he's still somebody that I want to take care of I'm a social service um, police officer. I'm a social work cop, police officer, down at 9900 Page Avenue. So if you ever need help, um, just go down there or contact them. It's the care unit. It's child abuse and neglect. They have an air unit now. It's the adult abuse and neglect. So if you're an adult and you're going through something, call the care unit and let's get it established that the air unit will take care of you and all things will be made perfect for you. And um, now, my fun thing is I, I was a cheerleader and I was a pom pom. I like to do pom pom. We didn't have a pom pom squad, but I, I made the pep club at Job Corps. I didn't want to go to Job Corps, but I had to clock in for my badge and go ahead and solve the uh, crime. And um, I did, and it's, it's stupid. It's uh, some girl that um, wanted to um, have a, a, a party for herself with uh, people telling her uh, she's loved and she hurt. The black women. And what she did was she made it where we have to look at uh, the black women differently than we look at everybody on earth. Because um, we are now searching for the black men because the, the bohemian, the, the, the men out here are bohemian. Unless you have a black mother, then you're mixed. And they um, have to um, be uh, cared for, but we can't uh, not um, attack, not attack, talk we want them to know that we want to treat them like how they're supposed to be treated, which is not respected, Cause, and that is attacking them. But we are great people. All the rest of the people, we are great, and they hurt us. Uh, and when they hurt us, they stole our hair. They, they, they beat on me and raped me, so many black women. And all I want them to know is if, if, if you don't know that you need to read for real and and learn and know what talking to people is. That means I don't talk to anyone. I don't engage in making people poor because the reason why I'm out hustling is because some black woman robbed me. 
She just went in my house and stole $130 and said she can because she um, wanted a hug. Um, when those people um, attacked you all and confused the Bohemian men for black men, because that's what I was talking about, uh, and um, did that to them, um, uh, 500, 600 years of slavery, yeah, it's 600 years. If, 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 the, if the black women want to go ahead and make it on the cross, stop trying to get a hug because it's weird. Don't, nobody associates in society. When you see people saying, give me a hug, that means they're having a great day. When you see a, a black woman saying, that means they're stealing from you because they should know white people don't even like black people. What, what, what would make you think um, a black person could, could battle their way out of getting kicked around? So if you know you got some freedom, learn what to do, learn. And um, nobody's going to, everybody's not going to be a cop. Everybody's not going to be a, a, a psychologist. Everybody's not going to be a um, hairstylist. But at least you'll have the, you might not even be able to get a job. You might say, dang, I, I'm, I'm sick because I'm, I'm remedial. So like myself, I I'm, have I'm, memory problems. So that's a form of remedial because you need your brain to be at, um, a, a fast speed economic. If you're not at a fast speed economic, then you're remedial. So, um, but you got to keep on learning and giving and associating with pride, not proud. When you have a pride in you, you're not uh, fighting or doing anything odd. When you do odd things, like like me having this shirt on in February is not odd, but I'm going to have it on in June because that's what I decided to do this year. I'm going to rock my Christmas sleeper shirt all year round, all the time, because my sister was born on Christmas. And so uh, now that you got the message, because I gave you my introduction the right way, I didn't have to do that. I could have came out and said, hey, you know, I went through some stuff with this dude who abducted me, and, and I found a, a glorious train of life with this guy. But that's um, idiocracy. How can you say you have happiness with a guy when a guy can't even give you happiness? They tell you off the flip, I can't give you happiness. So don't base it on a guy. Just go ahead and make a little love poem. Keep it to yourself and go ahead and rock on. And um, then thank them for all the things that they give you because they give you um, chastisement to teach you how to be a human being. And then they tell you who they are. And you decide if you want to continue that route. And then you make a, a note to make sure to keep them off that negativity that they're in because girls can have any negativity because we break down and die. And how much time? <laughs> we appreciate you sitting down with us, Miss Tony. And we we thank you for everything oh, you've shared. Nice out live. All right. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Bye.